channel today and we are doing a brand new Sims 4 current household video and so today I bring you the very first episode, very first part, whatever you want to call it, of the Novak family and if you didn't see the creator sim video that I did last week I will leave a link down below in the description so you can go check it out for yourself to get a brief introduction of the family but if you didn't see that video and you just don't want to watch it and you kind of under want to understand who they are today, they are a family of three living in Brindlin Bay right across from Brent and Brent Hacking. We have Hunter Novak, the girl on the screen right now. We also have Malaysia Novak, the mother, and Edison Novak, the father. They used to live in Sim, as you know, when Hunter was born up until she was the age of nine before moving over to Willow Creek when she when they recently moved when she was like 15. Right now she is currently 16. So they have moved quite a bit of quite a bit in their you know hunter's lifetime but ever since moving to a new town for the third time in a row hunter never really felt that she fit in anywhere in her life never felt that she was like really good enough for um an acting group or a drama club or anyone for matter of fact for relationships no matter who they are she didn't really knew if she was like good enough for them to like you know carry on the relationship never really loved the idea of long distance or anything like that and i really can see her like really making making it big in her life and if you didn't really see um, or understand i do post a lot of screenshots like little little fun little screenshot photos on my tumblr of this family so if you ever want to kind of catch up on their daily lives i do post them on my sims 4 tumblr that you can go check out and i'm really happy that i finally get to really enjoy an off-camera household that i don't stream that i just get to play on my own free time and kind of see where life goes for them and i'm really proud of how things are going and i said in my creative sim video for a an idea to name hunter's drama club and one of you guys gave me a really really good suggestion and i really love it and they suggested me naming it drama llamas and i really love that name because you know they're in the drama club together and they just also love llamas so i thought it'd be kind of a good way to just you know definitely sprinkle it in here and there and see where things go but recently when hunter moved hunter and her family moved over to brindlin bay for like their current permanent residence they were thinking you know mostly malaysia and edison were thinking what if we kind of expand our family what if we you know go forth and you know starting anew with our our lives together and malaysia was like you know it's yeah i think that's a good idea we can definitely see where life goes for us and and how things are going to end up for everyone including you know hunter and they said go forth it let's see what happens they asked hunter to see what she was thinking and hunter was like go for it do whatever makes you happy i believe in you we'll make this work and so they had a little kid not too long ago but last week and i've been playing since last week so time has passed and his little name is dawson novak and he is literally the spawn of satan don't let that smile fool, fool you because clearly he will wreak havoc on your house I'm not kidding. So Dawson is a three-year-old. He's currently in preschool right now, soon to be in kindergarten, actually, which is really, really cool. And Malaysia's been home for, for a very long time, for the past couple of months, trying to get the swing of things again of, you know, being a mother once more. Like when, when actually da Dawson was born, she kind of like didn't really understand how to be a mother because it's been like 15 years since you know hunter being born and so like she kind of like lost that connection and hunter lost that connection as well you know being close to a mother and having that sense of motherhood so she never really felt that you know she thought having another kid in the house would be great but she didn't really think it would you know you know bring that sense of you know happiness and connection again that she had back when she was younger but to give you a little bit more of like an understand where did hunter go where hunter no stop i need malaysia to do the cooking please i got you have things you like edit a video thank you jeez louise hunter we'll make an inspiring actually let's go post our updates for our social media and then record an inspiring vlog but what was it again oh yeah hunter hunter and malaysia when I think a little bit of a backstory between them two and like how they had like a falling out a little bit like mother and daughter relationship falling out was like when Malaysia became an engineer when they were living in San Shuno at the time and that was like when she was like eight or nine years old before moving 
But when they actually kind of got fur she got further into her career, things started to, you know, fall apart when she when Hunter was in middle school. Because around that time, Hunter was actually having her like her middle school, junior high slash dance, whatever you want to call it, formal. She dressed up in her good old fashioned 80s costume, what she had going back in the early days. She she was like, hey, Hunter, I know that you don't have a date or anything. I want to be there for you. I know I haven't been there for a long time. I think, you know, hey, let me be your, let me just like be your date for the night. And, and Hunter was like, you know, mom, I love you, but, uh, no. And you know what Malaysia did? She just went right ahead and bust the doors wide open, saying, boom, baby, I'm here. Let me, let me, let me tear up the dance floor. And you know what she did? She tore up the dance floor with her dancing skills, like no body's business and hunter was embarrassed and she felt like why would my mom do that why would she literally embarrass me in all in like front of all my peers and just do that why why would she do the electric slide why would she do the why would she do the way she did it she moved on but that wasn't technically their falling out at that moment it was just more so just like having her constantly being promoted and constantly moving and moving away from her friends and her you know her good friends mostly and her teachers that she adored. But I think I want to have Hunter definitely probably go volunteer, even though it's like really, really, really late. I want to definitely kind of rekindle that relationship with her mother a little bit more and go volunteer. Oh, I, I don't know. Base, bake sales, it's too early for that. It's actually too late for that. We're going to definitely go over to the nursing home because every single Wednesday around like 2 a.m., like their time, what technically happens is that the nursing home of Brindlin Bay holds like this like middle of the night, midnight, 2 a.m. like party bash for the elders. And I think it's like hilarious that they do that. So they have been going to that um, that nursing home for about like a couple of months since they moved here. And things have been going really well with them. So I'm glad that they're doing that together to kind of build that bond. For Edison, he's, um, you know, been that happy-go-lucky dad saying, do whatever you want. You can do whatever you please, as long as you just do it right and you don't cause any trouble and you're protecting yourself because I don't want to lose my little baby girl. No, no, no. My baby girl must be protected forever. And so look, that's kind of where he's at right at this current moment. So he definitely um, is a very good person, a very good father as well. Oh, hold up. Wait, Hunter was helping an, helping an elderly sim care for the garden. What is Greta doing outside in the garden at 2 a, at almost nearly 3.30 in the morning? Wait, when she actually accident, accidentally destroyed a prized rose bush. Ooh, a Hunter better, um, better, uh, let's see, uh, we're, we're, we're gonna have Hunter confess the accent to Greta because Greta, she's forgiving. The elder Sim at the nursing home, Greta's forgiving. She will forgive Hunter. They've been there for a couple months, gained that bond, that rapport. So things are fine. We're gonna confess that we um kind of destroyed your rose bush, but it's fine. We'll help you make a new one. Ooh, so Hunter confessed to the elderly Sim, Greta, about the damage she caused to the bush. The early Sim wasn't mad at all. See, we knew Greta was kind and actually showed Hunter some gardening tips for the next time. See, like I said, she built that rapport with Greta over time for the past few months to definitely show that she cares and she's sorry. So Greta helped Hunter. And now Hunter has gained some responsibility and gardening skill from helping the elderly fix the rosebush at the nursing home. And look, a little things go a long way as long as you kind of build that connection towards other people. But I think we should definitely go post it on social media because Hunter is like a very like, you know, exciting social media socialite person. And I want to definitely post it on the social seeing that we helped an elderly Sim. <gasps> Wait, is that a little kitten? Oh my gosh. Wait, Duchess? Oh, I love that. I love that cat. I think we should adopt it. And, you know, Hunter has been thinking mostly Malaysia to build that, you know, connection to Hunter, but thinking of adopting a cat for the longest time, we're finding a stray. And I think we should definitely adopt a cat for the family because we already have like the basic, you know, stuff for this house. And um, if you're wondering who built this house, I did not build this. It's basically the exact same house that's built in Brindlin Bay when you get cats and dogs. But I just downloaded Little Simsy's reno of this house and plopped it on here. So shout out to Kayla, uh, Kayla Sims, Little Simsy on YouTube and Twitch who built this house. But I just kind of remodeled it a little bit on the exterior, on the backs, on the, uh, 
backyard and also Hunter's bedroom to fit her, you know, her recording studio, her little laptop section. And I also, I think I added and updated the toddler's bedroom because originally it was fit for a baby. But since, you know, Doss is now a toddler, I had to upgrade it a little bit. So it made more sense for his age range. And we need to clean. This is dirty. And I don't know. I really want to I really want to have like a play date with some of the toddlers because Dawson has met some people at preschool earlier. And um, his friends are like really great. He only has three friends like Nani, um, Evie and Steven. So they are like three lovely toddlers. that I think Evie Delgado from oh, from up the hill. Yeah, Evie Delgado kind of lives up in this region over here. So I think that'd be kind of a good idea to definitely throw like a toddler play date of some sort at the toddler park that I don't currently have put down right now, but I will definitely uh, for sure do that. Because I think that's a good way to, you know, interact with the other toddlers and bring them all together. But let's have Malaysia. Are you all right? 11 more hours. Okay, you're fine. You are fine, actually. You're good for today. But what are you watching? Oh, you're watching the news. Maybe that's why. But um, let's have Malaysia go out and about to Oasis Springs to go visit to the Hernandez family. And I don't technically know if they're at home, right? Oh, they are at home. Oh, good. Because the Hernandez family, they are really kind, very sweet people. And La Cienega Sophie Hernandez, I just love that name. I made them on stream a couple of days ago. By the time I'm posting this video, it's probably been a week. Probably so. Is whenever we got the his, the hysteric Hispanic Heritage Month update last week, I'm pretty sure, on Monday. And when that happened, I was like thinking, ooh, let's make a new family for, you know, the Novak thing for, get, for the little get together. But here's La Cienica in her fitness wear. And let me just tell you for a second, quick, quick quick second look at her nails aren't her nails just great they're by praline sims they're they look look great i don't know why i just i really love custom content so much that i just love putting it on my sim to see what i could create but here right here is manuel hernandez who is Las Vegas' father he is a detective in the police career at level four or five i believe and they came here in Osa Springs about four or five years ago. So they've been living here for a while. Um, little settlers into the town. But as for over here, which is her mother, Michelle Hernandez, she is a culinary genius. She's in the culinary career. She's at level 10 of the cooking skill. So she kind of comes here periodically to talk to Ma Michelle every now and then to see how she can kind of gain some knowledge and some skill. And shouldn't you be at school, young lady? I think in a way she was homeschooled at a time. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Because I didn't mention, I haven't said it in this video at all, but there was a time where La Cienega, Michelle, and Manuel lived on the road for a very, very, very long time leading up to like when she, La Cienega was around like, I'm going to say about 11, 11 years old. And that's when they moved to Oasis Springs around when she was like 11. Now she's like 16. So five years of living in Oasis Springs for that long. But when they were living on the road, they used to live in the jungle of Selva Dorada. And she was homeschooled. So I'm thinking she likes taking the day off every now and then just to like settle down for a while. Even though they've been living here for literally... I'm not kidding. Five years. You would think by now that La Cienega would know that it's time to go to school. But no, it's fine. But I'm going to talk to Michelle for a little bit to see if she wants to kind of get together for some coffee or or something. Ask if she wants kids. No. Um, I want to ask if she is complaining about the lottery. She's not selfish at all, but let's see her personality type. Cause I installed a new mod called wonderful whims. It's made by the same people that made wicked whims, but without the wicked part. And I really love this mod so much cause it has so much personality to it that I really love. Ooh, I'm an ISTG type. Uh, I am practical and fact minded. I love to play chess, computer games and watch sports and exercise. <gasps> We should start an exercise club together because she loves exercising too. I'm an affectionate and believe that I should devote myself to my partner. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you. 
So the other re- the other reason here why Michelle's here because before they had like she had a falling out with her husband not too long ago, um, about three years ago when Manuel kind of got into a group of wrong people because he used to be used to be in the criminal career. It was like around that time where Manuel was like dealing with like a very suspicious crowd in Salvadorada thinking oh if you do this you do that you'll gain so much fortune and fame and your family will be set for life well that stuff like I said turned south they ended up losing literally everything like everything they ever owned they lost they lost their house they lost their their van that they had that used to be in the backyard over here they lost that um they had literally only three simoleons to their name so they had to work for so long to gain back to the in- the income that they had before like all this stuff in this house is brand new and they're looking to upgrade soon enough but they don't really technically know if it's going to be um you know genuine or like if it's going to be good for them to do that for right now but michelle kind of gave forgave manuel for what he did and he's you know working at it every single day they're doing couple counseling what is on your face ma'am what is that no no ma'am no ma'am no ham no we need to have you take a bath because that i don't know what that is i honestly have to say that with with everything that's going on with with michelle and her family i don't think it will like you know reflect on like their relationship with their um their friendship so i can definitely see them two hanging out you know onward i don't know if i can actually i don't know i don't know if i can or not but i do want to definitely give her a gift if i have a gift in my inventory oh we can give her oh you know friendly gift she does like to garden a lot so i'm thinking of actually giving her some apples to plant for herself for her garden oh we got level three oh good good perfect hunter's at school right now she's very tensed we're gonna play some games on our phone and Dawson can stay here and we're gonna have you work hard at work for the time being yeah let's go back home for a minute but we're gonna say goodbye to our little friends here and uh see them later you might hang out plus we get even we have to go back home anyway because we got work to do our work day ends at 6 p.m it's nearly 3 p.m so we're gonna say goodbye for now but thank you for letting me stop on in michelle i really appreciate you being here well, I'm, I really appreciate being here for you and with you in a time of need. You know, at this time of day, Hunter would definitely make a very angry vlog on the internet and post it. And I think that's what she's going to do. Let's have her make an, an angry vlog. A ranting vlog. <laughs> that could be really good or really bad. So we're going to have her do that for a while for the time being. Edison, let's have you. Oh, you're really hungry. I thought we gave you some food for work. I don't think we did. Hunter? Oh, no, no, no. You do not need coffee. Did you not finish your video? No. Finish your video. We need to have you make a ranting vlog. Do it. So she'll do that for a while. Back to Edison. But let's give a little bit of smoochy smooch to her, to his little, you know, little wifey wife here. Let's go and embrace her. We haven't done any, like, lovey-dovey or a date night in a very long time. So it's been a while since, uh... You know, they've shown any affection to each other. As for Dawson, he doesn't really do much because he's still a toddler and I might age him up early, but I don't technically want to just yet until I kind of have all his skills, which is literally only two of them, to level five until I age him up. And then we'll have like a half birthday party. And I don't want to do that until I install the memorable events mod by Kawaii Stacy. So we'll have him do that for a little bit before he goes to bed tonight around like nine. 10 ish around that time but until then we shall see malaysia can't get any word into hunter so we shall just talk to edison and see what he can do to help her you know loki i thought she was a burglar <laughs> what's happening over here <gasps> oh oh hold up oh the sun oh this you know this does not look that bad but anyway enough of that hunter is hunter she's she's a lot but we're gonna go ahead and like just we're not even going to edit anything we're just going to just upload it it's poor quality but i think we should probably edit it and then upload it because that's what hunter would do she would still edit her videos but upload them right at the exact same day so when she does that we're going to go ahead and upload it right away who just looked at a certificate oh that was you i'm like excuse me oh he's going to bed perfect and it's like right he's going to bed early 
oh, that's good. That's what I wanted him to do anyway. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually wrap up this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below, as always, of what do you thought of Hunter, her friends, her family, and everything going on in her life at this current moment. And that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below, as always, and I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye!